this floor here, there's a lot of different things going on. Um, of course, this is our Evolution mock-up, which because it's new, we're doing that in-house. And then we have our Builder Assist tables when we have customers come in. Customers will order IO 550s, IO 390s, TSIO 550s, mm -hmm. and then, of course, the Pratt's. This engine here is a Dash 20B. It will go on that Evolution, mm -hmm. and probably closer to the end of the year, it will ship to Russia. So we get the engine and then we develop all the baffling, your exhaust, okay. what overspeed governor, all the fuel systems, the fuel pumps, and then we develop it to fit in our cowling, both with the Pratt and then the, the Continentals okay. and Lycomings. And this here is our welding. When we're building, especially with the Evolution, a lot of the R&D we do in here. We do some exhaust, lots of engine mounts, control tubes, over center linkages, you know, ram air. There are still, you know, some parts that we just can't do at all that we do outsource. This here is our CNC machine. This is where pretty much the entire evolution was developed on the CNC. All the plugs were made basically out of this foam, depending on what they're making, um, what density of foam that they use. Sometimes the machine would run around the clock for some of the larger parts. If you own a Cirrus today or if you're considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidyne, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidyne Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value. This here is when uh, we offer a Builder Assist program. And with the Builder Assist program, the customer comes in and spends one to four weeks with us. Right now, we have the next legacy customer set up. This customer is coming in from the Netherlands, and this is basically how it comes from the Philippines. While you're here, the first week, you will close your wings, you'll close your horizontal stabilizer and elevator, bond on the center section, and bond on your horizontal stabilizer. You'll close out the vertical so your tail will be done. And then the second week is the canopy. And we offer a fast build canopy, but if you did not want to buy the fast build canopy, you can come in here and build it yourself. This is a legacy wing. All the, the fuel tank bays have been sealed for you already. Your speed brake pocket is in. Your slosh doors are in. These are the, the fuel tanks, so there's no bladder. And then the speed brake pocket's been incorporated into the top skin already. This is fiberglass because we put an antenna out here right. on one or the other. Some customers want two nav antennas, so they'll put another one in before we close it out. You can get a lot done in four weeks on your legacy. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system, with its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com. This is a Lancer Evolution that's gone through a two-week builder assist program. The wings aren't here, but basically the firewall's already in, the spar box is in. During the two weeks, you'll do your windows. You will close out your horizontal stabilizer and your wings, do some internal reinforcing. This here, let's look at this. Um, this is an ES kit. This kit is gonna go to Brazil. It was bought and we're just in the process of shipping this one and a legacy fixed gear out. The carbon fiber wings are for an ESP, pressurized, and then the fiberglass are just for the regular ES. And some people will order all carbon to save some of the weight, and all these parts have come in from the Philippines, so all of these were made in the Philippines. What happens is all the materials, everything that they use, 
is all purchased here. So I think there's a tax break because all they are are labor. I mean, everything that they use from the stir sticks to the heat guns to the mask, I mean, it's all purchased through purchasing here mm -hmm. and shipped over there. And then they take the material and turn it into product. All the molds and everything we we make here and have sent over. And it's got to be quantity. I mean, if mm -hmm. if it was if we needed one legacy kit, the cost of a container and shipping it wouldn't. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to have a whole container full.